Walker, uh, Lafayette High School, uh, varsity baseball. This is my fifth season. I grew up playing b baseball like most baseball coaches do. Uh, my father uh, was my coach growing up, uh, probably my greatest influence in this game. And um, being coached by him uh, has kind of led me along this path. It's just something that I always felt like I wanted to do. Tried to step away from baseball for a little bit and I uh, thought about being an attorney, and uh, that just wasn't something that uh, that I was built for. So I got back into the, the coaching path and uh, began my coaching career at, at Water Valley. Went to Delta State and coached two seasons on Mike Kennison's staff at Delta State. I left Delta State and, and took the head baseball job at New Albany High School and spent eight seasons uh, there as a Bulldog. Uh, and then I came over here uh, to Lafayette in the fall of 2017, and we'll be going into my fifth season uh, with the Commodores. To me, what, what always drew me towards this job and this place was the people, um, how hard the kids work, uh, the makeup of the kids. Uh, having coached against Lafayette at, in, inside our division at New Albany, it was always a challenge, always a fun uh, matchup for us. Uh, and I always thought if I ever had the chance to to be a Commodore and, and coach here, I, I think I would like to do it. So fortunate for, for me, I was able to do that. The overall support from parents and the city of Oxford and um, the university community is, has been great. You know, we, we couldn't operate and do the things we want to do as a program without that outside support. And uh, I don't know if it could be any better, if I'm being honest. The uh, crowd support, all of that is, is uh, a pretty special thing. I think motivation uh, is an internal thing. I don't know if we can motivate externally um, with, with inside the game that we play. Baseball, if you can't, it, there's, it's so entrenched with failure that if a kid can't internalize his own motivation, if he can't figure out why he's playing, if he doesn't understand why he's playing, um, it's going to be a very difficult game for that individual player. We try to have make our practices very active, fun, competitive, and I think anytime we can measure something, uh, whether it be their velocity or their uh, exit speed off the bat, anytime we can measure something and they can compete with it, it measurements motivation and. Uh, that really gets our guys um, locked into what we're doing. And if we can put a scoreboard on anything, uh, our kids are motivated. My style has changed at the longer I've done this. Uh, I used to be very in-your-face guy. Um, I'm still naturally a very loud person. Um, I, I tend to get a little vocal, um, and my voice stands out um, on, on the field. But uh, from a style, we, we focus a lot on discipline. Uh, making sure we're where we're supposed to be, when we're supposed to be there, and we're doing what we're supposed to do when we get there. Uh, we're, we try to be extremely organized and, and detailed in the things that we do. Uh, our practice plans are, are sent out to our guys mid-morning to you know a little bit before lunch so they kind of know what to wear, where we're starting, uh, what time we're starting, those types of things. Um, so that we can just get down to business. I want to be as efficient as possible. Uh, we don't want to waste a lot of time with, with the time that we have. And a lot of that comes uh, with the, the factor that we, in the off season, we have a limited amount of time that we can spend together. And we want to maximize that. Uh, and we try to carry that over uh, into our preseason and season practices um, because we don't want to be out here all day. I mean, we could literally practice for four or five hours to cover the things we want to cover. Um, but with young kids, um, particularly a, uh, a, a roster that is uh, a little bit underclass heavy, uh, attention spans and uh, teaching moments and all of those things uh, tend to clash sometimes. So we want to make sure uh, that we're good at the things that we're doing that day uh, and not to try to get too far ahead of ourselves and not try to do too much too fast. Good ball! Yeah, baby. Three, 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 three. In the off season, off season is such an important time for us uh, because they are not playing as much. We still have a few guys that do some fall baseball, but uh, we kind of have this mindset. If you're always playing, when are you developing? Uh, we spend some time on the field, uh, but it, it's more individual based in the off season. We're worried, worried about the things that make them the best player they can be. 
And then when we roll around to January, we start focusing on the pieces of the player making us the best team that we can be. And we have several here, probably half of our roster uh, plays another sport. Um, and that's our you know, JV, varsity, freshman, junior high, all of those, it, it, we, we're about 50%, maybe a, a little bit more that, that play another sport. So um, in a place like this, to be able to share athletes uh, and still compete at the level that we compete at, um, probably should go to show that, you know, you don't need it. You, you, you don't need a kid 12 months out of the year doing baseball stuff. Um, you know, they need to learn to move in different directions. They don't need to be, you know, constantly doing the movements of the rotation of a swing or the rotation of a pitcher making a delivery. Um, you know, that the body needs to recover from that. And if you're doing that 11, 12 months out of the year, uh, at some point you're going to be injury prone because it's, there's, you know, baseball is such an overuse sport that the, the muscles get overused from the repetitiveness of throwing a baseball or consistently swinging. Um, and I think stepping away from it and, and um, being active and moving the body in other sports is a, a plus for, for an athlete. Let's, Let's go, go Commodores. Commodores! This is a really fun team. That may be our greatest attribute uh, is just how much they like each other, uh, how much they want to be around each other. Um, you know, practices is, is, are, are so much fun with this group of guys. The dugout is so much fun with this group of guys because they love each other. Uh, and, you know, that, that's, that's the most important thing um, that any coach could say is, you know, do your players love each other? They love being here. And, and I feel like our group does. Uh, and with that, I think we can, we, can, we can build on that. If they love being here, then we, can, uh, we won't have to fight the battle of getting them here. And then we can coach them once they're here. And um, that's probably the, the greatest thing I could say about this group is they just they like each other. They love each other. They want to be here. Um, and, and they're very talented. Uh, it's, a, it's a very talented group of kids. And we just have to figure out, um, you know, which guys are going to be the best on which night. And if we can put that puzzle together and we've got time to figure that out in, the, in these early non-conference games um, about who's going to be our guys when it, when it comes down to the division push, and then the postseason run that we expect to have here that we play at every year. When we scrimmage or do anything like that, or inner squad, uh, we do things. We, it's not just how many runs you score. We we get points for all sorts of different things. And uh, dugout energy is one. How fast? Who the first guy that gets to a ball that gets fouled out of the play gets a point. I mean, so many elements that uh, that to me factor in the process of winning a real baseball game. Uh, being tuned in, the positive touch, the high five, and then patting somebody on the back. All of that stuff matters. Oh, oh. Uh, and it goes a long way into. Um, winning a, an actual baseball game and being successful in, in life in general. And so we add that in, uh, and, and you'll see our coaches in a process scrimmage. Every one of us has got a clipboard, and we all have responsibilities of what we're scoring. At the end of each inning, we score it, and we kind of let them know where they are. So that, that noise you hear, that's them trying to stay active and stay engaged and um, I think that's, you know, that's something that adds to the, the fun of this group. They're really good at that part of it. It's a new day at Max South. We are excited to share some great news. In our continued effort to support Mississippi businesses, Max South is now offering local advertising support. Through high quality programming, we combine traditional television and premium digital advertising, allowing your multimedia campaign to reach your targeted audience at any time on any device. Call Max South Media Sales today at 662-701-8628. Our biggest challenge, I think this year, will be overcoming our youth and inexperience and then battling the schedule that we have. I mean, we, we've got a pretty tough schedule. We've got some perennial winners on there that we that we you know tend to face every year, and, and that's what you want. That's who you want to play. Uh, you want to play the teams that are going to make you play as well as you can play to be successful, and that's how we try to line up. Uh, and look, we may look up at the end of you know spring break and be six and six, and going into our division schedule with a 500 record, 
Um, but being a better team then than we are right now. Uh, in 19, we played for a state championship, and at one point we were 6-7 and seven and 0-1 and in the division. Uh, I think we wound up winning 21 games that year. So um, it was, uh, you know, just it took that long to figure out the pieces. Uh, and we're okay with that. Uh, I don't want everyone to say we're okay with losing because we want to win every time we have the opportunity to compete. Uh, but we're okay um, giving people opportunity uh, to see what they can do, to see what they provide. And, and you never know about position changes. You know, you, you, you got in your mind a guy that probably needs to be playing here, and then all of a sudden, we say, well, let's try this, and it, that's the thing that clicks. In 16 years of doing this, one thing I always know to be true is somebody that you're not expecting is going to do something great, uh, and is going to be something that you didn't expect them to be that's going to make you uh, make you better. Um, that's something that's happened every year uh, that I've coached. Uh, and I always wonder who that guy's going to be. Uh, and the more I look at it and the more years I spend doing it, I start to see maybe this guy, maybe this guy. I start to be able to kind of factor it down. But it's, all, it, it's always at least one guy that does something special that you don't expect. I, I think we've got a team that can win a state championship. I think we've got a team that, that has the pieces there uh, that if we can come together, we can be a championship caliber baseball team. Uh, we've got some challenges um, that we're familiar with with South Hillo that won it last year. Uh, they were a former division opponent of ours. We've since moved division, so uh, we wouldn't see them until the postseason, but we're familiar with them. And they, they've got uh, a good majority of their roster back for, for this run, but you know we're, we were right there with them. We lost to them in, in the North North half championship last year um, in 19. Uh, we beat them in the North half championship. So it's, it's kind of become a pretty good rivalry. Uh, we know teams like um, Neshoba Central and Ridgeland are perennial playoff teams that we'll have to get by at some point. But our league looks, uh, um, looks to be a, a winnable league. Uh, there's going to be some challenges with uh, Lake Cormorant and Cleveland and Greenville, uh, mostly because Cleveland and, and Greenville, we don't know much about. We haven't played them in, in years past. Lake Cormorant is a holdover from our previous division. We're familiar with them. They've got a young team that's, that's pretty talented. Um, but I do think it's a league that, that we can have success and win, um, and that's what we expect. I have a lot of sports films that I enjoy, but probably my favorite is Miracle. Um, the Disney film about the, the 80 Olympic hockey team. Um, yeah, how could you not? You know, how could you not love that movie? Um, I think uh, Kurt Russell did a fantastic job in, in that role. And um, I just, you know, if it's on, I'm going to watch it. It's one of those, you know, it's one of those movies that um, I draw inspiration from. I, I draw quotes from all the time. Uh, in fact, we, we would put a quote on our practice plan uh, every day. Uh, we had one from, uh, from that movie about being an uncommon man. Um, and, you know, the common man goes nowhere. We have to be uncommon. And uh, we, we utilize that stuff all the time with, with our practice plans. And, I, you know, I, I'll draw quotes and, and things from movies all the time. And we've got our junior high kids coming down the hill. And that's one of the things that uh, works out well for us is that our high school coaches who are, are out of class at this point are able to spend time with our junior high program. Um, I, I actually teach in the middle school in the morning, so I, I'm able to form a relationship with, with these kids before they play for me. Uh, and I think really, if you look at our, our roster now, our high school roster now, um, I think part of the reason it's so, so much fun is because I have a relationship with these kids outside of baseball. Uh, I have formed that with them as, as junior high kids, and they, they've grown up in our program. Uh, so we've got that, that first first real group of kids that were junior high kids when I got here. Uh, and that makes up our entire high school JV and varsity roster now. Uh, so it's really cool that, that they get to come down this, you know, during this time of the day and use our field and use our facility. Um, because when they practice in the afternoon, they're, they're kind of relegated to some of the, the practice uh, facilities around here or, or practice fields or even up on the turf on the football field. So for them to be able to have access to it um, this time of day is pretty cool. Uh, game day for me is about the kids. That's their day. Uh, practices, that's for the coaches. But game day is, a, is about these kids. Uh, and we want them to have the, the game day experience as well as we can pro provide it for them. 
Uh, we want them to have their walkout songs and their the music that they want. And uh, we have a, a Diamond Girl program that is phenomenal about providing them with snacks and, and support that way. And uh, we have a, a parent group that provides them with meals. And uh, so we, we, we tend to try to make a big deal out of game day uh, because it's, you know, as a high school player, you only get so many. Um, and we may be fortunate to have, you know, a couple of guys in each class that move on and play at the next level, um, but it won't ever be the same as, as, as this. Um, so we try to uh, provide a, a game day atmosphere, uh, not only at home, but when we travel as well, that um, is, is kind of unique and, and special for them. I think a good high school baseball coach cares about his players, um, cares about the program, um, the, the big picture uh, of, of having a direction, uh, having goals in mind, uh, and trying to provide the opportunity to make each kid successful. Um, you know, you, you've got kids that come into your program that have grown up and, and they played shortstop for whatever team, and um, by the time they get to us, they may not be the, the best shortstop in the program, and it may be that maybe a guy ahead of them is a, is a good shortstop and the guy coming behind them is a good shortstop and we may need to find a, a place that best serves him. And, and I think that's the most important thing um, that a high school coach can do is love their kids and care about their kids and provide the opportunity for them to be as successful as they can be. And, and it may not be in baseball, it may be something else, but uh, just to give them the avenues to be successful. Thank you.